There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. There's no way. Oh, maybe it is real. 47,000 women and girls worldwide were killed by their intimate partners or family members in 2022 alone. This means that on average, a woman or girl is killed by someone in their own family every 11 minutes. Gender-related killings are a real problem, and they're a real problem everywhere. Today I'm going to tell you the story of Alejandra, also known as Ms. Pac-Man. On the night of Monday, October 29th in 2018, Alejandra was murdered by her husband at her home in her bed. She was completely mutilated with a machete. Her neighbors heard her cries, but they were too afraid to check and see what was going on. Once neighbors realized that the murderer had escaped, they went over to go check and make sure that Alejandra was okay. She was a mother of three and a stay-at-home wife. She was said to be a very hardworking and smiling woman. The neighbors called the police, the firemen, the press, anybody they could. The only thing was that they lived about 45 minutes from any of them. They were literally in the middle of nowhere in a village. While they went to go check and see what was happening with Alejandra, somebody took out their cell phone and filmed it. They made a video of her dying, bleeding, mutilated, and it leaked. It spread through social media without any kind of filters, without any kind of care that this was a woman that was being murdered on camera. The thing about this murder is that the coverage of it has been treated so terribly. One of these news channels that cover the murder, they actually opened their news broadcast with a Bible quote. In this Bible quote, it sounds like it's its almost like they're justifying what he did. The Bible quote was, Who easily get angry, he will do crazy things. There was another news program that stated that a man blinded by anger attacked his wife with such fury that he ended up murdering her. He dismembered his spouse. Later, while they were gathering information, they also reported that they believed that he was under influence of drugs or alcohol. In the social network world, there was accusations that Alejandra had been unfaithful to her husband and that's why he murdered her the way that he did. He was so upset that she went out and was with another man that he was just could not control himself and did that to her. Social media also said that she provoked him. She caused him to do this. And then of course you have the religious fundamentalists who feel that it's a woman's job to cater to their man because he is their lord and that's how people do think that you know in religions people really do think that it's a crazy way to think but they do it's because of this and a patriarchal macho man system that 62 women die every month victims of misogyny in guatemala This is the very first time that I have ever seen this video. I'd obviously heard about it. I had seen, you know, Disturb Reality and Plague Moth cover it, but I had never actually seen it. I don't normally look or seek for gore videos. It's very, I'm, I'm very much a gore virgin. So when I see gore, it's very shocking to me. Very shocking to me. So you can imagine this video was absolutely fucked. It was so fucked. I can't even. I didn't think it was real. I didn't. That was the first thing I said. I said, there's no way this is real. The way that she was cut. I didn't understand how it could have been real, like, atomically. You know what I mean? But then she moved. And then it was very real. And then it just kept getting worse and worse, and worse. As I have been doing, I put the reaction video on two platforms. The um, reaction video censored is on my members page. If you want to be a member, it's $2.99. It's, you know, pretty cheap. But I put um, like all my reaction videos there. They do have to be censored. YouTube will take it down and it'll strike me. But if you do want to see the uncensored reaction video, then I do have it up on my Patreon if you want to head over there. It's just, you don't have to, but um, what I'm going to do is just 
kind of just leave you with the audio of my experience watching that film so you can kind of uh <clears throat> see where I'm coming from here. Starts with a hand. It looks like it's been been chopped at the wrist. It's kind of like this on the ground. There's a woman that is like absolutely in agonizing pain in the background, like for real. Like, okay, so then it's like cut over to that's an arm. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. There's no way. Oh, maybe it is real. How? How? If she hadn't if she hadn't made that noise, I wouldn't have thought it was real. But she's not the only one that's crying. There's somebody else crying in the background. She's just kind of gurgling and making... <sighs> the noises she's making are awful. I guess the other woman that's screaming is... Screaming because she saw her. That's the only thing I can think of. That's why I would be screaming like that. Holy fuck. Oh, I don't understand like I don't understand how her, her face is cut like okay so this is the nose right her face is cut across and it's literally split like this wide so her eyes her nose is down here her eyes are up here and it's literally split like someone fucking just and she's still alive. Oh, she's still alive. You can literally, you can literally see inside the cut where she's breathing. It's, it's bubbling inside. Like she just turned her head right now and looked with her eyes. This is some horror movie shit. She can still move her eyes, like, she's literally looking around. Oh, God. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. That was literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. 